Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm going to talk today about a thing that I made for my workmates. Workmates are nice tools. Uh, they let you have a bench that folds up and can go in the trunk of a car. You can set it up pretty much anywhere. It has a nice clamp top on it and it's very nice except the bench is not always as big as you want it. Now you can buy the newer ones that have larger tops on them, but typically those are a lot more expensive and a lot heavier. This is a simple thing that I did that made the Workmate a more useful workbench. This is my Black & Decker Workmate 225. It has a kind of a nice thing. You can take the back uh, tabletop and move it to one of these three positions and increase the size of the clamping area in between the jaws. It also lets you spread out the size of the table a little bit but mostly you end up with two little places. Now, there are other additions that you can make to this. There's a table that you can put in between these two, which costs an additional expense. What I did to make mine more versatile is when I was working on the kitchen cabinets, taking out the old ones, I took a section of the countertop and cut it to fit on top of the workmate. Now, just having that much surface area is a nice thing. It means that I can move this around and have a good sized bench to work on but also, because it's countertop, makes a great gluing surface. Glue doesn't stick to it. Now, you'll get a drip on there that'll stick for just a second or two. Once it's dry, take a chisel or a jackknife or a razor blade and just pop it right off. It doesn't stay. So I've really enjoyed using this for that kind of an operation. It also is nice for doing things like working on chainsaws because chainsaws are leaky and they drip oil on everything. A little bit of spray cleaner wipes right off. Paper towel cleans it off in no time. Cost me nothing. All I did to make it work is cut it to the size I wanted and fasten the 2x4 to the bottom. Now, the first one I made was a piece of plywood. Scrap plywood from some job I was working on. And you can see that I had to make an adjustment on the width of this one because it fits, fits the big table and protects the surface on the big table, but it didn't fit in between the opening on the little table here. So I had to cut this board down. This one I fastened with screws and glue. Nice flat surface on top. I painted it green because green is supposed to be a good background color for photography. Uh, as you can see, it's not green anymore. Works, but it's not green anymore. The advantage to having paint on it though is stuff doesn't stick to it as easily. This I just glued on because I didn't want to make any mistakes and run a screw through the plastic top and damage it. So this was just three cuts with a, a saber saw and glue a 2x4 on the back. All done. Works great. Very cheap. 
I don't think I spent anything on this because this was a piece of junk that I was going to throw away anyways. Now that you've seen what I've done with a workmate, you can make one for yourself. It's easy. Also, if you don't happen to have the materials on hand, getting them isn't that hard. You just got to keep your eyes open. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.